Hey guys, what's up? It's been a so while since I posted my last video. Uh, in this video, I would show you how to do uh, data analysis of cryptocurrency data set using Tableau. So let's dive in. So before I start showing my outputs, I would like to show you where I collected the data from. So uh, my cryptocurrency data set consists of two different uh, data sources. One is from the point metrics. Um, so I took all the 19 cryptocurrencies from the core sample side but I didn't analyze the ERC20 tokens which I'm saving it for my next project and the second data set is mainly on Bitcoin blockchain uh, it has 33 different attributes and uh, it is taken from the actual blockchain and uh, every single value has been averaged out for the entire day so it is on day basis and here is also it is on per day basis but the only difference between these two guys is uh, here even they have Bitcoin but it's more on the uh, exchanges like Coinbase and uh, 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 Bitstamp. So these guys gave data for uh, what they have for Bitcoin or what happened in their own network. So it is not based on Bitcoin blockchain, it's rather based on the uh, exchange data. So here uh, it's pretty much uh, you know self explanatory. It is from the blockchain, so it is like uh, from all the possible exchanges and uh, it is actually based on what's there. It's not based on what the exchanges tell. So I uh, use my uh, Bitcoin related experiments with this data, but for the rest of the data sets, I used uh, uh, these guys. So let's start with my popular. You might have seen this chart a long time. This spike is like a symbol for So this is the text Here I have the price on the columns. Um, so I have price on the side and uh, the T is the column side. So it's kind of like 19 different cryptocurrencies and their respective price values in a continuous manner. And uh, uh, usually people will look at this and see what well, Bitcoin is the best and and ask me the question so it is best to invest in bitcoin i would give them an answer or response with this chart so yeah bitcoin is in terms of uh, you know higher price value compared to the rest of the coins but have a look at the you know second guy here Ethereum. so in the previous chart the second guy is one cash and uh, clearly he is nowhere near which is among these five guys he says that low was on in terms of uh, exchange volume so what the data tells us uh, price doesn't explain the fact that who is the best we need to look at different scenarios i'm not telling that you just need to look at exchange volume as well decide upon that there are different factors when you compare cryptocurrencies or its values or how to cure weightage for the cryptocurrencies so um, you need to look at different things rather than just price and volume there are different factors which determine what is best in terms of investment um, you know there's definitely a lot more but in terms of the like, world developer side i would rather look at things like what kind of features it has like in terms of ethereum it has something like contract and uh, stuff like uh, you know decentralized application uh, uh, supporting system so i would look things like that uh, bitcoin don't host you know programs and uh, it is not suitable for things like that it is designed for uh, replacing banking systems so you need to look more than just data when you are um, uh, looking at the developer perspective so let's focus on the price things um posing advance is pretty much common on any stock exchange level uh, analysis it will clearly tell you what are the highs and lows relatively uh, um, the grays and the yellow color uh, is the parameter of pulling your bands and the blue color uh, here is the actual value of Bitcoin price over time and the red color explains that it is an outlier or it falls you know out of the band which is uh, an indication of it is not normal but I would probably fight with the fact that Bitcoin price itself is not normal, so why not everything is in red color? Uh, you know, Bollinger Band explains uh, in terms of a loop back period for a period of certain time. Here I said for 20 days, so it will look among the 20 days, so it will take average something like that. It is pure mathematics, so if you want, you can take a closer look. So it will, you know, tell outliers on a short window basis for the overall system. So it's very helpful when you are uh, investing for a short time and try to take uh, money in a short. Why? It's not for long-term analysis. 
report and uh, it is clearly a backlog for me in terms of this analysis because by the time I take this is close to March 31st and uh, clearly shows that the Bitcoin price should be somewhere like this. It is not. Um, yeah, I didn't. I was not surprised that my analysis was wrong in this case because in this case Tableau uses something called uh, exponential smoothing algorithm to determine what the price is. You know, any machine learning uh, uses the existing data to uh, predict what the value will be in the future. Um, so in, in, terms, in terms of cryptocurrency, you can predict something like just like that. Uh, for instance, here we cannot judge. I know Bitcoin price is purely not based on its historical value. It is mainly fluctuating because of the policies or the countries which is not accepting Bitcoin anymore or uses for news. Uh, which is buying over the internet that popular billionaires don't want to invest in cryptocurrency. This will definitely affect the market price of Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency respectively. So, predicting with the traditional forecasting system, which is usually used for statical data, is not good for um, you know um, a stock that is highly volatile by external factors. So, I'm not worried about this, but I'm just throwing it out to you. If you want to forecast, keep that in mind that you are not only considering certain factors. There are n number of factors you need to consider for forecasting value of cryptocurrency. So a pie chart I used to show that there are a lot of you know line charts previously. I just wanted to put a pie chart to show some of the uh, table skills to you. So pie chart is usually used to show proportion of the value compared to um, the rest of the crowd. So um, the analysis came totally different because I was expecting that Bitcoin outrun everyone else. But in terms of coin production, <laughs> uh, you know, beats everyone else. Um, yeah, I, I was a bit surprised when I did a bit of research and uh, Bitcoin coin generation will pass every uh, four minutes. So um, it was close to you know uh, 21 million coins that can coexist. Uh, in any point of time in terms of Bitcoin network, whereas Ethereum has a different total amount of coins that can exist. So that difference plays an important role in determining how much coins has to produce over a time. So these guys fix that number. So it is not constant all over. So they decide how much coin has to produce before initiating the network. So um, this can give an outline of, uh, you know, which coin will be more scarce in the future. Like imagine a gold which has a uh, price value which is exponential to its uh, rareness so bitcoin will definitely be more rare in the upcoming future because if it is keep getting uh, halved for every uh, four years it is definitely going to be run out yeah, it is predicted that by the end of 2014 uh, i mean 2140 there won't be any more bitcoins and uh, at that point the production would stop so which makes it very scarce and i'm pretty sure that we won't live that long so I, it doesn't matter to me. So um, I wanted to see what's the fees for top cryptocurrencies and not surprisingly Ethereum uh, stands out loud and uh, Bitcoin stands second to the uh, uh, Ethereum. So these top guys, uh, I was wondering why Ethereum you know, collects more fees compared to uh, BTC. Well, one possible explanation that I could give is that it has an ERC um, uh, 20 token system that many other cryptocurrencies follow. So those blockchains run within the equity, which makes any transaction on their blockchain has to pay a portion of the equity. It's like a, you know, uh, you are in a consultancy and you have to pay a portion to the uh, person who helped to get hired. <laughs> so things like that. Uh, box plot, uh, and this cup plot uh, is like a, it usually used to combination with coding and math. Remember, uh, it, here the one point represented date. Uh, but imagine that you have hourly data for 24 hours and you can plot on this curve for that. That's the graph you usually see in exchanges. Um, uh, a line chart with a use curve and box plot for each and every hour. So that's pretty common. I just want to throw it that it is possible. Uh, here, this example is pretty that um, uh, what is the BTC market capital by the entire year so here it started nowhere around 1 point something billion and uh, it fluctuated all the way to 350 billion which is quite crazy uh, my difficulty so uh, I was asked that uh, some people wanted to know how to mine Bitcoin or is it worth investing the time right now and uh, I would write a bit of it 
this job now which is basically tell what is the difficulty level of the work right now uh, each color represents different year with different and different so all the way at the top which is very very difficult and the hash rate required to find something uh, is comparatively very high than the previous years so i would say until unless you have super computer or something uh, mining bitcoin and the uh, possibility of mining something and making profit out of it is a to low as an indian one if you want to know probably you can get some share um this store chart is uh is for my tablet skills don't worry about it and uh, you can uh, come with pie chart as well but let me explain about the chart uh if you are aware how the big boxing works it uh, automatically adjusts the difficulty of the network make sure that the blocks are mined on an average of 10 minutes for every two weeks so every two weeks it matches itself to make sure that it aligns with the close to 10 minutes of the time window so this is what we uh, are seeing in the chart and uh, most of them uh, try to align with uh, themselves by uh, you know <laughs> Excuse me. Um, for the standard of ten minutes. Let me show you again. Um, this dashboard is the you know dashboard when you do something individually have a consolidated view. So this chart is like the prodigy of my all analysis and that's just to show off with the one minute chart. Um, and uh, you can actually um you know play with the. The ears here, and there are other columns as well. Except for the we can reflect on every chart. You can do such cool features in Tableau. And storytelling uh, is the way that actually right now something that I'm really usually when you are in Tableau, I environment you usually tell you a story like this. We don't tell them what's going on. Explain that like step by step. Since there are a lot of shots, I couldn't uh, uh, involve everything in this one, so that I chose to tell everything by myself by showing it individually. It's pretty fun, I believe. So, uh, one second, guys. Sorry for the delay for posting a video after a long time. Uh, I'm very much uh, caught up with my graduation and my master's program. Hopefully, um, I will show you some other cool features of developing cryptocurrencies and uh, uh, probably uh, mining. Video. So, until then, bye bye, peace.